Good YouTube, coming back with a quick video. As you can see, that's where I'm going to be picking up from. Whitestown, Indiana, which is Frito Lay. Going to, uh, where am I going? Whitestown, Indiana. Going to Twinsburg, Ohio. As you can see, pick up in Ohio, go right back to Illinois, from Illinois, right back to Ohio. Um, that's, yeah, basically. So, so we got a couple requests today. Um, sorry, I'm looking at this guy pulling out a, a truck parking spot next to me. Just want to make sure he wasn't going to hit me. Kind of tight over here. So we got, um, I want to say, uh, St. Did they want St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis, Missouri. We're going to do 150 miles. If we don't really see much at 150 miles, then we're going to go up to 200. Since we only got three requests, um, we're going to go. We're going to do it that way. All right. Now, um, let's take a look here. Now, somebody said that I'd be going too fast. and So, I'm going to slow it down a lot and um go over it no i'm just messing with you uh look it's only three loads so oh well as you can see it's only three loads because of the third jesus 26 through the third okay i messed that up y'all don't don't judge me i was really trying to be smart but all right so we got columbiana missouri now when you see these zero zero one basically um that's like a ghost load that's the load that's going to be getting on the load board but they haven't set an actual time and date for that they have set a time and date they just haven't put the price and stuff on there yet right um felton missouri to uh north canton i wouldn't do that i mean if i was going home i'd jump on that uh, let's take a look and see what the rate per mile is I'm going to say that $2 is some change. Yep, $2.18. Not a good load. Not a good load. Mm. Just North Carolina isn't too bad. It's barely at $3. Barely. Like $2.99 or something. $3.02. It's not too terrible. If you're just trying to grab and go. El Paso, you are die You... Your truck could die out there. Ain't nothing coming back from El Paso. Um, Quincy, Garland. Yeah. What's that? Two dollars and some change. Quincy to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Three hundred and fifty mi three hundred and eighty-five miles. Nah, that's a little bit over three dollars a mile, but is it really worth it though? I don't, yeah, 3.30 a mile, and it's kind of heavy. I don't know. See, when you start, for me, when I start seeing stuff like going to Vados, Georgia, Vados, however you pronounce it, yeah, the um, it might look good, but it ain't really that good, because Georgia, to me, is not a great market for us. That's just in my opinion. I don't like just running at a small rate of like 2.0. You know, two one nine. I, I just don't. So, um, this is crazy. Dollar, dollar ninety eight. Um, this one's over three. Going down to basically Dallas. Close to three. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. 9 p.m. Mm. Yeah. This would be something I would do to get back into my market if I was in that area. Just to get back into my certain market. It's only 300 something miles. I'll do that. And you get to keep your trailer. So that's probably one of those uh, highway low board premium loads everybody would say. I've never seen that load before. Well, then again, I don't go that far. $3 a mile to go to Kissimmee. And I probably said that wrong. Um, yeah. Trust me, I'd be recorrected in the comments here soon. 
These little same day loads. I mean, next day loads. They have four dollars a mile. Hundred, two hundred miles. I mean, if you're into that type of stuff. Not me, not my cup of tea. Well, that's all we got right there for St. Lou. Okay. Let's go up to. Let's do Dallas. They wanted Texas. They didn't put a, a certain part of Dallas, so I'm going to go Dallas. I got to go back and rechange this dang on date. Now, this might pop up a lot of loads. It might not pop up that. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure. So. The only reason I did 250 miles is because I want to see if it hit Houston. Probably not. We got a message um, basically saying they want people to start taking loads to Laredo. That they have plenty of freight down on Laredo. Well my experience which is none when I look <clears throat> it's not that much coming out of Laredo but they said you gotta reach out to your CC and they can find you something now I love going home and everything but I would not take this not in my darkest hour I wouldn't do it now, I would do this oh yeah I do this to try to get away from there. 1,900 pounds from Dot Garland. All day pickup, all day delivery. Three days, but you gotta run hard for that. See how what I mean by Dallas is just not, it's not it. I'm saying for me, it ain't it. All that running for nothing. In my eyes. As you can see before that discount, everything got two dollars. Some people love it. You know. Now, this I would do. Just because it's a little bit paying a little bit more. Um to go uh, no I won't. I mean no fuel surcharge. I wouldn't do that. As North Lake, that means this one ain't got no fuel surcharge either. Look at that. Another, oh, this one's going to Finley, but it ain't paying much. Dollar 80 mile. This is how Texas is, man. It seems like when I was with Snyder, Texas runs pay better with them. I'm not sure why. Like these, these Texas to Texas runs. I mean, these are, I ain't gonna say scraps, but it ain't enough. There's no way this is only that. It had to be, yeah, I about to say this is full fuel surcharge. There's another one, no fuel surcharge. So I'm thinking. When you see these, probably spot market. Because you see how it's going Mantino, Illinois, and it was going to Finley. It was going to um, Groveport and stuff like that from there. I'm pretty sure that's probably the spot market loads. Because they don't pay um, fuel surcharge all like that. They do pay it, but it'll be really low. Yeah. Like, yeah, it ain't, it won't. Like, I mean, if you were in Oklahoma and you wanted to drive this straight through, you can. It ain't going to pay you that well, but, you know, I mean, if you need to get back in Texas, pick it up and drive it straight through down to Roanoke. I mean, if you know how to chain loads together and you go on there to there you want to make some you know at least some halfway decent money and if it was me and i seen these two roanoke 
what I do, the first thing I do, boom, get on here, zoom in, make sure I'm at the right building, or in a, in, at least in the same uh, Harrietta Creek Road. Then I'll go back to this load if I was just trying to get up out of there and do the same. Up, oh, hold on. Sorry about that. I think I clicked on the wrong load. All right. Harrietta Creek. And then I'll just um, go down and check if it's still on the same road. You see it ain't. So that means you're not pick, you're not dropping and picking up at the same place. That's basically what I just did. So, but it will pick up in the same city. But the bad part about that is if this place right here, this first row don't, don't have a trailer, then you got to go outside. You know, yeah, it's just, if it ain't from the same spot, it ain't it. Yeah. I want to say this is going to uh, Mexico. Yeah, Mont mm. Montcherry. I don't even know how that would. I don't even know if we can. Mm. Yeah, this one's going to Mexico. Oh, sorry. Um. Y'all probably thinking why I'm not. I'm not looking at like all the lows that actually ha looks halfway decent. It, it, they all don't look that decent down in Texas. But some people want me to explore a little bit. Go outside my little range one day. I mean, one day I might. This is just insanely crazy. Oh, never mind, never mind. I thought it was going somewhere else. It's just going up. See, this place don't never pay fuel surcharge. North Lake, Texas. Yeah, I don't know how they just think they can get away with that. As in, like, who's going to do it? Yeah. Mm. Man. This place is actually pretty decent. Um, this is the pack TV. This is usually light, um, if I'm not mistaken. This is that like pack TV, whatever it is. Spot. Nah, it ain't that one I was thinking of. Mm -mm. Well, I was wrong there. Fayette, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's paying a little bit over three dollars a mile. If you're down for that, like you could you could find some hidden gems. You know what I mean? I just don't go everywhere, so you know that's just what I do. All right, and then I think it was Kansas City, Kansas. We're gonna just take a look at. And this city. Let's see if is that even a I don't know. Uh what's what let me see a good state in Kansas. Capital of Kansas. Topeka. T O P Topeka, Kansas. All right. Yeah, here we go. Here we go in that nonsense. Topeka. Indiana, here we go. I'm on some nonsense. All right. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to do 250 miles. Now, I have been down to Topeka, Kansas. That's usually Frito-Lay going down that way. Um, you could pick up in, uh, what is that, uh, Spring, Salt Spring. Um, 
Spring Hill, Kansas. But this stuff is usually heavy. It's uh, bleach. It's Clorox bleach. Yeah. That's crazy. That's far. And it's heavy. So when you see these, usually these are spot market. Ask for the rate. Usually a spot. Yeah. Hopewell Junction, New York. This is that what I was talking about. Spring Hill, Kansas. This is about to be heavy. Told you. 44,000 pounds. Heavy. It's paying if you're willing to go all the way up to. As long as I'm not going inside of New York, New York, I would have probably took. Nah, I won't take it, but I'm just saying I could understand why somebody would. If it's not going inside of New York City. I'll take this going to the crib. Why not? Is it heavy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Sorry about that. Got fat fingers, y'all. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this done, and I'm going to go ahead and hop on the paycheck video real quick. I want to thank y'all for being patient with me. You know, going through these trials and tribulations of this, you know, low board. A lot of y'all really do enjoy it. We've seen majority of these. Um, Arlington going to Bowling Green. Going down to Dallas. Another Hopewell Junction. Huh, they're not too terrible, but they're not the greatest. And some of y'all, I know somebody in the back on the comments saying these rates are bad. Rates are bad everywhere. It's all about your mindset, man. You got to get over it. You have to get over it. Like, you, people fail to realize, man, this is a billion and trillion dollar companies. And they don't care about one person. They don't care about 1,000 people. They don't care about 100,000 drivers. If 100,000 drivers was to stop driving, yeah, it might make a little trickle in the, in the, um, in there. But that's it. They're going to find ways to screw you. Your best thing is just to focus on you and stay in your own lane. Some people are going to say that's the type of mindset, the reason why we're in this. No, we're in this mess because of COVID. We're in this mess because people took out all these small business loans. Like, you know, we in this mess because of that. Not not because anything we, you know, myself and continue to run these loads did. I run these loads knowing that the rate is bad, but I'm not going to let it hinder me. I'm not going to let it set me back. I'm not going to let it bring me down. I'm not going to I'm going to take it for what it is and I know my limits and I know what I will and will won't, won't do. I know what needs to be put on the, the table at my house, you know, and that's it. I don't care what anybody else think. I don't care about the next person because when everything was up, nobody cared about the, you know, the people who was not making it well. You know what I mean? Now that everybody ain't making it good. Now they want to start complaining like, no, what was that same energy when you was making bank? But all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and check into y'all when I get done with this paycheck video. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, what's good, everybody? Just looking at the uh, paycheck video for you guys this week. Going over what I made, <clears throat> deductions, and everything of that nature, right? So lately, I've been telling a lot of people who've been calling me, um, <clears throat> looking for some advice on what I do, right? And why. I don't drive hard. Why, why I don't drive hard, right? 
my truck hasn't even hit 400,000 miles yet and I'm going into my fourth year with it, right? I just choose now lately not to drive for it, right? So as you can see at the top, 2018-77 hit my bank account. Escrow, no payout. It said I ran 1,883 miles, but that's what all day hit. Without day hit, I was roughly about... I'm just going to say even 15. We just say 16. We just say 16 just because it's just a better number. Okay. So, fuel this week, $871.33. Death was $60. Did spend a little bit on death. And as you guys can see, still use the toll fee. Still got the uh, low board charge for $25. Scales, I had $17.50. Had to scale a couple times. Um, obviously, I do ATBS, which is $23. Base plates is $50. Bob Teller Shorts, $8. I do have medical, which I don't, I forget where I even got. So I think it's just short-term and long-term disability. I might be wrong. I might got life insurance. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, I ran one, two, three, four loads, and I grossed thirty-three forty-four for those. So my average was eight hundred dollars per load, if not a little bit more. Um, as you can see, um, some of these loads, like uh, the one ending with thirty-nine, that was eight hundred and sixty dollars. But then I won't get up. Oh, yeah, then I won't get an $800 load. I got some for $700. But then you see I turn around. I got another load for over $800. And I got another load for over $800. So I'm not saying that every load is going to be $800. I'm just trying to average $800 through the week. And minimum. That's my minimum. Like, to be... When I say minimum, that's enough money to put pay all my bills make sure i got enough money in there for my truck note every week and still have money in my pocket and help my wife out if she needs it you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying minimum as in like break even that's not a break even my break even is a thousand dollars take home a week that's break even or i'll just say 1200 because i gotta buy groceries so 1200 is like my break even part you probably said well you only got extra 800 dollars well I go right in this extra that'd be extra extra in this a savings account or extra extra towards some credit card build or something like that um but you see i've been doing that consistently and only running 1300 miles 14 1500 miles a week you could do 1500 miles in three days i just choose to do it this way because i don't i don't want to run my truck into the ground i just don't right so $1,325 was my deductions for the week. And as you can see, that's what hit my bank account. Um, like I said uh, at the end of the, you know, the other video, if you didn't watch, uh, you know, um, y'all just stay, you know, stay safe out here, y'all. Um, be productive with yourselves. You know, when you get up in the morning, make sure you take a, you know, quick look at your truck. You know, always look at your headlight markers and um, tire pressures and, try to slow it down you know i did four loads or eight hundred dollars worth of diesel four loads four so next week is gonna be a little bit different you know i do gotta go to the doctors this week so the following not the one paycheck coming up next friday but the paycheck after that was gonna be really bad um i'll probably i don't know what i gross i don't know can't even tell you right now but um yeah I just want to thank majority. I want to thank all you guys for, you know, tuning in. And, you know, if you ever need to reach out, I'm going to make sure I put my email address um, in the description. And y'all have a great rest of your day. Stay blessed.